Kia ora folks, this is an amazing little experiment that I used to do when I was 10 years of age and I used to do this over and over again looking at, the, at this candle burning in the jar. So it's called the water elevator experiment where you're using a, a lighted candle and you put it, put it into a little dish of water and you put a jar over the top and the water rises up, gets sucked up. So the question, the question is why does the water why does the water get sucked up or why does it rise up inside the jar? Now I want to stress there's, there's a really good strategy to use in science classrooms or science lessons and that is POE which is predict, observe, explain. Now predicting is about um, getting the, get, asking the students to express their ideas around what they think will happen and why does it happen. So you could talk you could spend quite a bit of time just before you jump into the experiment you could talk about well why do candles burn you know I mean what is burning you know what are uh, what is water you know and have a look at different sized jars you know you know this th this jar is different from this jar here in what way you know because of its volume okay so you can talk a little bit about that it's important I think for students to express their ideas and get their opinions out, their viewpoints out. Just 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 the opportunity to do that I think is very important before, you know, jumping into the experiment. And the other key thing I think for um, predicting is that the teacher can find out a little bit about their thinking. So it gives you the opportunity to think about, well actually, what is their prior knowledge? You know, what do they know about burning? Do they know anything about oxygen? Do they know anything about heat? Because there's a lot of misconceptions around this experiment. I mean, for many years, I myself, as a student, I think I was, you know, I think I was only about 19 or 20. So that's 10 years after, and I still thought it was the oxygen that was being used up that would cause the water to rise up. It wasn't anything to do with the heat. So there, are, there's a lot of misconceptions with this experiment. So the 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 second phase of POE of course is observation and observation is where the students are really looking deeply at it it's not just looking it quickly at what's you know what's what's happening it's actually it's actually really careful noticing really looking carefully at it and it might be it might be measuring too so it might be you know finding out well how many bubbles are there how long did the bubbles take you know, was it an instantaneous thing, or did it did it take a long time? You know, how long did the candle um, keep burning for? All those sorts of things are around deep noticing and also deep listening. So, looking carefully at the at the experiment and the activity is really important. So that's the second phase, and then of course the third phase is the is explanation. An explanation can start off with just describing what happens in words. So they could do that orally or with writing. So just getting down what actually happened. And then of course comes the more difficult phase of explanation where they're actually using their own words and science words to explain why does this phenomenon happen? Why does this water rise inside the jar? So let's let's have a go at it. You need a shallow dish, you need a candle, and I hear um, I've just got some water and I've just coloured it with a fruit tea bag. So just to make it a bit more visible when it does rise up in the jar. So just pour that into the jar and like that. And then put the lighted candle. And for 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 kids who you know who are who are not confident with writing a uh, a, a candle, just get um, a grown up to help you with that. Okay, just to make sure that it's safe. And today I'm going to use a tall jar. And I'm just going to put that over the top and then of course comes this crucial stage where really listening and looking at what happens so you can hear those first initial bubbles and in this this instant here the there's two things happening here the the air inside this jar is heating up, is expanding, and that's what's causing those bubbles. 
and of course at the same time oxygen is being used up and this is why the candle diminishes, the candle flame diminishes, makes smaller and smaller until it goes out and you can see some some smoke there so it's taken a while. There's lots of variations that you could do with this experiment so instead of using just one candle students could use two candles or three crack, three candles they could change the amount of water they could change the volume of the jar so they could you could have different size jars you could use you could change the height of the candle okay so not a, not have used tea light candles just use a normal candle but what what i want to just explain really carefully here is the reason why the water gets sucked up now two things occur the water i mean sorry the oxygen inside the jar does get used up and obviously having more candles you'll notice students will notice that the time will get shorter and shorter the more candles you use the time of the um the oxygen will be used up more quickly so that's one observation and one explanation that they could talk about but it's the heat it's the heat from the candles and if i put this over like this now you can hear those bubbles it's the heat inside this inside this uh, jar um, that it expands expands the volume of the air inside the jar and of course it forces the air out so as it expands it, it forces the air out but once that once the the flame goes out the air cools down it cools down it absorbs into the glass and it cools down and of course the only the, the the air inside inside which has expanded and has released all those bubbles then contracts does the opposite actually gets smaller and contracts and of course as it contracts it must pull up the fluid which is the water and that's why the water gets sucked up or rises up in the air it rises up in the jar so you've got a pressure difference occurring when there's heating and so the pressure on the outside course remains the same outside the jar but the pressure inside the jar gets gets much lower and has to be compensated and that's why you get the suck up of suck up of water just to conclude I just want to say that it's important to perhaps you know after the the students have done the first you know preliminary kind of you know the initial experiments you could get them to come forward again and just discuss get them to express their ideas, their initial ideas about why this happens. Uh, talk a little bit about, you know, maybe, you know, air pressure, air pressure outside the jar, air pressure inside the jar. Look at, you know, which, you know, which is hotter, which is colder. You know, the air inside the jar is hotter. So that means that the air is going to expand inside the jar. Then when the candle does go out, this heat also dissipates out and it cools down so the actual the the air inside the jar is cooling and therefore contracting and of course that's this is what causes the you know the suck up of of the water so sometimes and i think with with the the chance or the opportunity to express their ideas comes this idea of you know releasing their misconceptions so students can at times um they can describe and explain their observations through their predictions so their misunderstandings can come out through that they can tend to they can tend to at times do that they can use their predictions to explain the observations rather than using the observations as you know raw data you know actually this is what actually happened and then piecing together the real you know the evidence to actually inform themselves of the of what really does happen um so yeah i hope that helps uh, it's a it's a it's a wonderful wonderful experiment to do and it's really worth unpacking those ideas because they are complex it's it's not 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 as straightforward as you think so go well